Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. The last week has been incredible. I'm back again with a new and exciting recipe. This week we're gonna be making some jalapeno poppers. It's really spicy, it's really creamy when you have it with some sour cream. You're gonna have an incredible time making this recipe. Very important note is make sure you use gloves when you're handling jalapenos because they're very, very spicy and if you touch them, if you cut them without using gloves, then your hands are going to burn really badly. Yeah. These jalapeno poppers taste great when served hot from the oven. Um, the heat of the jalapenos and the creaminess from the sour cream are just perfect. These jalapenos are great for serving at parties and you can make them a couple of days before and you can freeze them as well. Um, apart from that, these uh, jalapenos can also be air fried. Um, you can't fry them, but you can bake them or air fry them. So just give it a shot. So without further ado, come on, let's get on with the recipe. Click the link in the description box for a full list of ingredients you require to make this recipe. Start by crushing the Doritos in a small bowl into fine pieces. Avoid using a blender or food processor as it will turn into fine powder. Ask your kids to help you do this. You want your Doritos to look somewhat like this. Next, in a pan over medium heat, add your butter. Once your butter has melted, add the breadcrumbs. Cook for a few minutes until the breadcrumbs turn slightly golden brown. You want to keep mixing as you don't want your breadcrumbs to burn. You will notice that the breadcrumbs will change color from a bright yellow to slightly golden, just like that. Once the breadcrumbs are done, switch the flame off and add the Doritos. Mix everything well together and set aside in a bowl. Don't leave the mixture in a pan as it will brown further. This is how it should look like. Next, you want to chop your spring onions into thin slices. Keep them as thin as you can. Set aside when you're done. A very important note is that when you're handling jalapenos, make sure to use gloves. It's very important because jalapenos are really spicy and they give out oil um, when you cut them. Um, so when you touch them with your bare hands, your hands might burn. So it's very, very important to use gloves when handling jalapenos during the entire recipe. Um, I've made this recipe before without using gloves and I know how, how painful it can be. So I would 100% recommend you to please use gloves whenever handling jalapenos. Using a pair of gloves, cut the jalapenos into half lengthways. Make sure you keep the stem intact on both the halves. With the help of a spoon, remove the seeds and the inner membrane of the jalapenos. You can also use a knife to help you do that. You want to remove all the seeds and the inner membrane because that's where the heat of the jalapenos are stored. If you want to keep your jalapenos really, really spicy, you can keep some of the seeds intact. But I recommend removing them completely as you never know how spicy the jalapeno might be. Once you're done, keep them aside. Repeat this step for all the jalapenos. Next, in a medium bowl, add your cream cheese. Soften it using a spatula or a whisk. Once your cream cheese has become soft, now add in your cheddar. Give it another good mix. Add in 3 4 of the spring onions, oregano, salt and black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, and finally paprika powder. 
Now give everything a good mix. Once you're done, don't forget to preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius. While your oven is preheating, fill the sliced jalapenos with the cream cheese filling one at a time. Try to fill in as much cream cheese as possible. Do this for all your jalapenos. If you fill the jalapenos correctly, you should have no cream juice left. They look amazing, don't they? Just wait until we bake them. Once you're done, dip the jalapenos into the Doritos and breadcrumb mix one at a time. Ensure they're completely coated from the top. Place the jalapenos on a lined baking tray once you're done. Repeat this process for all the jalapenos. Once you're done, bake the jalapenos for about 15 to 20 minutes in an oven or you can also use an air fryer if you want until they're soft, golden and crisp on the top. If this is not soulful, comforting and delicious, I don't know what is. Once the jalapenos have been baked, transfer them to your serving plate. Garnish them with some of the breadcrumbs and Dorito mix along with the leftover spring onions. Some chili flakes as well as some oregano. Once they're done, enjoy them warm. Don't they look amazing? If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I shall see you again with another exciting recipe next week. Bye!